ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about Black excellence this Black History Month. And this phenomenal woman and absolutely brilliant woman is Patricia E. Bath. She lived from 1942 and she left us in 2019. But one thing about our inventors, they may be long gone, but the inventions live long beyond their years. And in most cases still used to this very day. We were real inventors. The others that steal the inventions, they were good at using the patents office to reward themselves for things they absolutely did not do. But Patricia E. Bath did her own work and made her own invention. So let's talk about her. Patricia Bath discovered and invented a new device and technique for cataract surgery known as laser FATCO. Dr. Bath was the first woman ophthalmologist to be appointed to the faculty of the University of California at Los Angeles School of Medicine, Joel Stein Eye Institute. She was the first woman to chair an ophthalmology residency program in the United States. In 1974, Bath joined the faculty of UCLA and Dr. Charles R. Drew University as an assistant professor of surgery, Drew, and ophthalmology, UCLA. The following year, she became the first woman faculty member in the Department of Ophthalmology at UCLA, Jules Stein Eye Institute. By 1983, she was the chair of the ophthalmology residency training program at Drew UCLA, the first woman in the U.S. to hold such a position. She received her medical degree at Howard University College of Medicine in Washington, D.C., interned at Harlem Hospital from 1968 to 1969 and completed a fellowship in ophthalmology at Columbia University from 1969 to 1970. Her following internship, Dr. Bath completed her training at New York University between 1970 and 1973, where she was the first African-American woman resident in ophthalmology. Despite university policies, you know, she faced a lot of discrimination. Yes, because they don't want to see a woman like her rise. They don't even want a woman like her to have the intelligence that she possessed. Plain and simple. So she experienced numerous instances of sexism and racism throughout her tenure in both UCLA and Drew. She took her research abroad to Europe. Her work was accepted on its merit at the Laser Medical Center of Berlin in West Germany, the Rothschild Eye Institute of Paris, France, and the Lawborough Institute of Technology, England. At those institutes, she achieved her personal best in research and laser science, the fruits of which are evident by her laser patents on eye surgery. Dr. Bath was also a laser scientist and inventor. Her interest, experience, and research on cataracts led her to invent a new device method to remove cataracts, the Laser Fatco Pro. When she first conceived of the device in 1981, her idea was more advanced than the technology available at that time. It took her nearly five years to complete the research and testing and needed to make it work and apply for a patent. 
Today, the device is used worldwide. Isn't that the case? Just like traffic lights used worldwide. Refrigeration used worldwide. See, that's what happens to things our people invent. Although they completely deny it, we don't care what these folks deny. In fact, we don't care about them at all. So it took her five years. So she was able, once she perfected her work, she applied for the patent. Today, it's used worldwide. I mean, you go, girl. You go, girl. Dr. Bath was able to recover the sight of several individuals who had been blind for over 30 years. Can you imagine creating a device and bringing sight back for people that couldn't see for decades? That is a huge achievement. Huge. Huge. So she is one of many notable women scientists in history that we should never, ever forget. So Dr. Patricia E. Bath, hats off to you. You know, I had heard about the laser surgery. In fact, my grandmother had it. You know, she would get cataracts and she had it done. And I remember it was in the 80s. And she talked about it didn't take long, you know, and she was able to see clearly immediately after she had the technique done. So, you know, one thing also you will note about our inventors, their inventions cannot be matched. All other people of different groups that like to steal inventions, all they are are duplicators. And the duplicator can never, ever be better than the originator. I don't care how hard they try. I don't care what patents are stolen. The proof is what they say in the pudding. She was a real innovator that changed the world of eye surgery forever. Y'all, please tell me what you think about our great sister, gone but never forgotten, Patricia E. Bath. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.